Are you having delegation issues in Power Apps? If you answer yes, then we have a delegation fix that will return more than 2,000 items. In this lesson, we're going to show you how you can get more than 2,000 items in a SharePoint list. I'm going to create a blank app. Let's call it delegation trick. First thing I'm going to do is change the background color. Then I need to change the data row limit from 500 to 2,000. So we'll come up to settings, display, the general 500 to 2,000. Next, I need to connect to the data source. So I have a SharePoint list, it's called city. Let's go to SharePoint, there's the site, there's the SharePoint list name, and press connect. Now I've connected to that data source. If you go to it, Go all the way down to the bottom. You'll see that we have more than 2,000 items in our SharePoint list. Right here. So we want to return items that are greater than 2,000 items. Let's go back to Power Apps. The next thing we're going to do, let's create a city label. Go to Insert, Text Label. I'm going to say, enter the city. Now we're going to create a text input control for the city. So text input. Let's remove the default value. Let's rename the text input control to city text input. So I selected it. I'm going to call this control City Text Input. Just like this. Next, I'm going to create a state label. So to insert text label. Enter the state. Now 
Now I need to create a text input control for the state. Let's go to insert, text input. I move the default value. Now I need to rename the text input control to state input. I've got the text input selected. I'm going to rename it and call this state text input. So these are what our controls look like so far. State text input, the two labels, and city text input. Next, I need to create a blank vertical gallery. So we'll go to insert, vertical gallery. Oops, I need a blank one. So let's type in blank vertical gallery. There it is. Put it right here. Now we need to add labels inside of the gallery. So we have the gallery selected. Just go to insert. Actually, the gallery is selected here. Go to insert, text label. Now we have a label inside of the gallery. Let's move this up. right here. Let's change this to city. We need to select the gallery. and add this into the items property of the gallery. I got the gallery selected in the items property. I'm gonna put in this right here. So we're looking at a filter function. It's looking at the data source, which is our city trip point list. It's looking at the state column in the city share point list, see if there's a match in the state text input or the city field in the city share point list, matching that to the city state text input. So we have a label for city underneath. Let's copy this. Add a label for the state. Let's go back to our SharePoint list. Uh, let's search for an item that's over the 2000 record limit. Let's look for this city, Powell, Wyoming. So I'm going to type in Wyoming. And I can type in the city, which is Powell. You can see to put in retrieve that information. You can also get item for the ID column to show that it retrieved more than 2,000 records.